Hello, this is Moses Wen, and in this video I am going to show you how to do looping in MATLAB. Before you watch this video, I am going to assume you know how to create an M file and how to assign variables their values. So let's get started. In MATLAB, there are two types of looping. One is a for loop and another one's a while loop. So for now, I'm going to show you the for loop. So let's execute this program and see what it does. OK, so some basic housekeeping right here. CLC will just clean the screen, and clear all will just clear out all the variables. So my first step is I make a equal to 0. So now I'll start to enter the loop. So now I'm in the for loop. So every time every time this loop goes around, I will change into a different value according to what's inside the matrix. So in this matrix it's just one, two, three, four. So the first value I is going to take is one. Then when it loops around again, the next value will be two the second element of that matrix. And when it loops around, it'll take three, the third element of that matrix, and so on and so forth. So let's just keep looking at this program and see what it does. So now this all this does is add the value of i onto the value a. So i, which is 1 plus a, 0, will create the new value of a, which will ultimately equal 1. So let's go through the loop again. OK, so as I said before, it will take the second element of the this matrix when it goes through the loop the second time. So it's 2 now. So now it will just keep looping through this matrix and now the new value of i is 2 and that will add on to a which is 1 so the new value of a will equal 3 so this will keep going until it reaches the last value of the matrix which is 4 once it reaches that it will it will just exit the loop and execute whatever commands are underneath. So now this will just display what a equals to, which is 10. And there you go, 10. Now, for is used, used when you know how many times you want to loop a command. So with this, I know I wanted to loop four times when each time changing a variable i for like 1, 2, 3, and 4. But what if you don't know how many times you want to loop a program? Well, this is where the while loop comes in. So I'll just type, just type up this program. OK, and I'll just start to run it. Once again, basic housekeeping. And I've made A equals 0 again. So what the while does is that it will analyze this logical test and see whether it is true or false. If it is true, it will go through and execute whatever is inside this loop. So it will execute whatever's in here. But if it's false, it will leave the loop and execute anything that is below it. So let's see what happens to this. So 0 is definitely less than 6. So this is true. 
So it will start running anything inside this loop. So now all we're just doing is just adding 1 to A. So it will just keep rising. Um, the number will just keep rising by 1 until it's, well, until this is false. So let's just keep running it. So every time it loops, it will go back and check again and see if it meets this condition. If so, it will continue executing the loop. If not, it will just continue with the rest of the program. So now, 1 is still less than 6. So it will still keep going. Okay, so finally, 6 is less than 6, which is definitely false. So at this point, it will leave the loop and continue the rest of the code. So now I'll just display A, which is 6. And there you go, 6. So, yeah, basically in MATLAB, there are two types of loops, a for loop and a while loop. So for is used when you know how many times you want to loop it. And while loop is that it will loop when you want to meet a cert when it is a certain condition. That's it for this video and I hope you stay tuned for other MATLAB videos I will post on YouTube.